Hi friends, welcome to eCareer Plus YouTube channel. In this video, today we are going to see how to check the mobile phone's external parts with the help of multimeter. Let's get into the video. In previous videos, we have seen what all the external parts are there in mobile phone. And here the ear speaker and this is the vibromotor and these are the types of vibromotors these are the types of ear speakers and these are the types of mics and these are the types of loudspeakers I have removed all these parts from the cases for checking purpose and these are batteries there are many kinds of batteries available but today I'm going to check with two types of batteries and here is a multimeter with the help of this multimeter only we are going to check all these components now I'm going to set the multimeter in a continuity range that is continuity mode to check the multimeter line keep both probes together you can hear the beep sound so the multimeter is working properly now I'm going to check the ear speaker Approximate range of air speaker is from 30 to 32 range. While checking it must be in that range only. You can add plus or minus 1. Here it's showing 29 range. So it's not bad. Good only. You can also check it by setting 200 ohm. In this range also it shows 29 plus 4 something only. So it is in a good working condition. Now I am going to check another air speaker. This air speaker is in 32.2 range. Next we can check the another one. It is in 31.6 range. It is also in a good working condition. So 30 to 32 range is the indication of good working condition ear speaker. If it is not means if there is any problem in ear speaker means we can't able to hear the voice from the receiver side in most of the service center if there is any problem in receiver means they won't check the problem just like that they will replace it but the good technician must check the problem before replacing I have done checking the ear speaker now I'm going to check the loudspeaker for loudspeaker also you can set the multimeter in 200 ohm or in a continuity mode in continuity mode the range of loudspeaker must be from 8 to 10 range this loudspeaker exactly in 8 range now I'm going to check with the 200 ohm and this also it is in 8.2 range only there is no big difference next I'm going to check another type of loudspeaker this model loudspeaker comes in a smartphones while checking it shows 7.9 something which is merely 8 not bad it is in good condition only I have done checking the ear loudspeakers next I am going to check mic these mics are called as analog mic or uh, wired mic these are old model mics which used in a keypad phones to check these types of mics set the multimeter in in 20k ohm the range of mic should be in 1 to 2 range this mic has 1.39 range that's we have completed checking the mic next we can go to the vibro motor this is the place where my vibromotor will be placed in a panel. This one is the latest model of vibromotor. To check the vibromotor you need a power supply that is we need a direct current machine. You can also use the battery to check vibromotors. I have connected with the positive and negative terminal of vibromotors. After connecting you can see the vibration in a vibromotor when I am reducing the voltage here you can see the voltage required to the vibromotor to run 
so it takes 4.5 voltage here you can see the functioning of vibromotor next I'm going to check the battery to check the battery set 20 voltage in a multimeter after setting the voltage keep the probes in positive and negative terminal accordingly you can see here the voltage is 4.15 but it is in minus just don't mind it it is because of you misplace the probes in a wrong place but the voltage is correct only no issues actual range of battery should be in a 3.7 to 4.7 range now I'm going to check the another battery it is in 1.71 range here the same I misplaced it it is in minus now I'm going to do it in correct place here you can see the plus range it but that also remains the same it is in 1.71 range only so this battery has some charging problem the charging condition battery range must be in 3.7 to 4.7 range when it is below then that range means you can assume that the battery has some charging problem there is an issue in a battery so when this problem occurs to your battery you have to boost the battery with the help of battery booster device so it helps you to reuse your battery that's it battery checking is over now and this is the motherboard of the phone nowadays the motherboards are coming in this model only this is the vibro motor in a sub board this is the digital mic before I showed you the analog mic to check the digital mic you have to remove it from the board once you removed it it won't work as well as before it may failure and this one is the another type of mic the previous one is in a circle, uh, circle shape this is in a square shape that's all today we have seen how to check the ex external parts with the help of multimeter thank you for watching see you in the next video bye